Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna make a little tool using Lua of course. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna use Lua GIT, but you can follow with any kind of Lua version you want or even Roblox. Even though actually Roblox does have a custom function which is split, you know, so it, it can actually do that. But in actual vanilla Lua, that's not the case. You have to do it yourself. So that's what we're gonna do today. So let me first show you the the actual uh, function right here, or actual tool. So Lua GIT, my script is called script.lua inside this folder or directory. And I give it two parameters, uh, which is the first parameter and this is the second parameter. And look what it gives me. It gives me the first argument or first, yeah, I can say argument. So first argument, um, delimited, so between every character of the first argument, there is that second argument, which is the limiter right here. So I can actually, instead of, uh, I can use a comma, or I can even add a space right there. And as you can see, everything is cool. I can also go ahead and use this. I can do something like this. And it goes on like that. So let me actually show you how that goes. So you can use whatever editor you want. You can also use Roblox. Uh, I'm going to use NVim right here, NeoVim. Uh, well, we're actually just going to, I'm going to remove that script and we're going to start over. All right, cool stuff. So as you can see, there is no other file right here. Now I'm just going to go ahead and say NVim. I'm going to say, uh, well, let's just say scripts.lua again. There we go. I need my line numbers, so sit number. There we go. Cool stuff. Now let's start. Okay, so we'll make a function. Um, str to chars. Actually, let's call it split, though. Split. Okay. So it's going to take, uh, of course, it's going to take a text as a string, you know, and it's going to return a table, a new table, of course. So inside that table, there will be all the characters of that text, basically. So for i equal to 1, basically, we're going to start from the index 1 and then go to the length of the text using that, that sign right there, whatever that is, the hashtag, all right, do. And, and then I'm just going to say t i t index of i equal to uh, string.sub. So inside of the, the global string standard library table, <laughs> there is string.sub basically. So whatever, uh, string.sub text comma i comma i. And there we go, pretty much done right here. And as a further optimization, we can even cache out our, like string.sub, but it's not really required. So you can actually go ahead and say, for example, something like this. So sub equals string.sub right here, just like that. And dependent on your Lua version, uh, it might optimize it out, but yeah. So instead of string.sub, right now you can just go ahead and say sub, which is quite cool. All right, so that's our function basically. And if you're using, if you're using Roblox, you can use a GUI to get some text. If you're using the terminal like me, then there is a global table called arg, just like this, which hold all the arguments that are passed to the program uh, that have actually executed it. But whatever, let's see how it goes. So first of all, local str equal to, for now I'm just going to start with a simple uh, string. For example, hello world, you know, and then I'm just going to say local um, chars equal to split str. I could have passed it directly, but I just wanted it to, to be like uh, obvious, but whatever. All right, so right now I'm just going to go ahead and print each entry in the table. 
So it's clear what's going on there. So I can print i, comma v. Uh, if you don't know, print the print function is a variadic function, which means it can get uh, any arguments you pass it on, you know, whatever. And it's just going to print them delimit delimited by space. Or actually a tab. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, probably a tab. But yeah, let's go. All right, so right now I can just go ahead and save this. And I can run it. I'm going to use Lua GIT, which is a really much faster version than vanilla Lua, but whatever. So scripts.lua, because I called my my script file like that. And then I can just run this. And there we go. As you can see, it printed each entry on the table, each pair, basically. So 1H, this is the index 1. The value is H, index 2, E, 3. So basically every character of that string is inside of a pair inside the table. Cool stuff. Even the space is actually inside there. Yeah. Whatever. Right now the the string is actually like just basically tapped there like constant. But I'm going to use arg you can't use it if you're in Roblox, for example. This is only for the terminal users, but whatever. So arg index of 1, because index 0 is actually the file path, the the script file path, but yeah. So right now I can go ahead and do the same thing, but I can also go ahead and say, I can give it something like hello, and it will go ahead and do it for me and I can also run again the script without changing it and give it another argument for example yo <laughs> and there we go pretty cool stuff isn't it cool mm, all right uh, right now though let me show you first one thing you know so if you say for example hello world you know it won't work as expected it will only like um, store it into hello because arg1 will hold only hello because world is actually inside another argument and if you don't want that to happen you want actually the space to not be like a special character delimiting the arguments you want it as a whole string then you can use the quotation marks inside the terminal and there we go boom all right so also instead of using this loop you there is another cool function which does the opposite of what we did here which is instead of split it actually takes in a, a table of characters and then it joins them together and you can also uh, tell it a delimiter but let's go so local new str equal to so of course it's inside the table standard library so table dot concave then you give it the table which is in this case chars uh, this is the table that holds the characters of our string you know and you can just go ahead and run this but yeah I need to print the new string though new str and there we go all right so you notice it just prints back our our string because basically here when you have a function, an inverse function, you apply both of them, then they just cancel each other out. And so basically the input is equal to the output. Uh, that what happened right here, even though uh, we have a lot going on, but we only see the current, like the, the input that we gave it because there's nothing really changed because those are perfect inverse functions. But whatever, we can give it a delimiter okay for example a comma because table.concate takes a second optional parameter which is a delimiter a string as a delimiter okay so right now i just added the delimiter as a comma and let's see what's going to happen here and there we go as you can see instead of just giving me back the the initial input it goes ahead actually adds a comma between every character and of course space is also a character so that makes all sense right 
and you can also go ahead and instead of hard coding that value this is the term that I forgot to say uh, before but yeah whatever so arg2 so the second argument basically or actually the third really technically um, but whatever all right so I get to give it another string right here boom and as you can see right now I can actually give it various like two parameters basically and there we go because I give it a point here in in the third argument so that is really cool stuff and I can quit vim right here so w q then I'm just gonna go ahead and do it again script dot lua and for example Roblox. All right, and then we can use any delimiter we want, and there we go. There we go. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so that is quite a great tool. <laughs> So yeah, that was it for this video. See you later, guys. Goodbye.